Okay, so we have this M formation turning up on the hourly chart. For the gold price. And if you refer back to the pre open market video for gold posted on Sunday before the market opened, or Monday if you're in Asia, um, this weekly gold chart of the week article that is written every week done yesterday, we talked about the inevitable price discovery and looking for a smooth correction um, for the move lower. So, if we bring that up. We've had the move into round about 38.2 over here. However, it's not as smooth as we'd like it to be. We had this sort of correction up and this drop and a pretty strong um, correction higher. It's not an ideal correction to be looking for the extension just yet. In any case, Asia, London, London came in to the Asian length. And this M formation um, would be expected to see the price move into the neckline we've got 20 coming down it could be an opportunity for the price being resisted and subsequent scalp to the downside but you need to bear in mind that we now have this support structure on a 15 minute chart to be clearer so until that's broken we're on the front side of the correction so On the other hand, one could argue that we've broken, got a peak formation in place, broken structure in London, and we're coming down, we've moved up into that structure. So if we say this was a break of structure over here, so POV. So we have that break of structure there. So we just give that highlight over here. We'll make that red to indicate that the bias is lower. Um, this here was the 15 minute structure, which is also broken. So we can draw a line in there. So that was broken. And now it's expected. Turn down the shading so you can see clearly what's happening there. And we're breaking down this structure here, we're trying to. So this over here would be the high of the day. coming into the US session. Mm -hmm. 
argue with them, the high of the day is locked in. We've got five minutes for a new 15 minute bar rotation. So if we get a convincing close below the low of the day, on this 15 minute candle, and on the five minute we can say that we've got this structure here broken. We do have these well tracks here at the low. Now, we've been rejected at these lows. Pretty strong pin, bullish pin, moving back up into the counter trend line. To me, it's not convincing enough. There's nothing particularly clean here, and this is the, as I was talking about, this is the bar and ball rule scenario that you want to stay clear of. This is not giving us any indication. Um, this is not a clean setup. So we've had, again let's go through this, we're looking at the one hour what we want to have seen is a rounded clean reversal for the explosion to the downside and instead we've got this indecisive choppiness this kind of double bottom low right so And a strong move up. This is not steady decelerating stuff. This is firm bullish price action. Yes, we've got the end formation and the double top, great, but that's not to say that this can't just continue higher, remaining on the front side of this dominant broader move. So trend line being formed between here and here, another pop up and a support would really confirm that as a trend. Yes, we've broken this initial move, but that's enticing sellers in to go back up. And over here we've got another double bottom. This candle could well be filled, it's wick, could be filled up, but it's still not clean enough and we've still got this bottom at the end. You need to see a break below there, and then you're really trying to sell at the lows of the day. To me, the trade was in London, this would have been the low of the day, and that would have been the scalp. And the basic rule, you can lay on this would be you're not looking at this until the 38.2 has actually been triggered well, in this case it hadn't then that will keep you out of temptation just a suggestion as a rule this is a bar room rule so if anything i'd be looking for reasons to buy we've got the london high of the days as a target for a scalp Got a double bottom. Have one, two, three pushes, making a new low of the day. And trace it back up, resisted. Double bottom. 
arrayed on on this liquidity over here. We're now looking to break the structure over here. So we move over to a different chart of gold. You've got the impulse, the corrective impulse, and we've had a 61.8 double bottom correction and a double bottom at the correction lows. And we're building, in my opinion, to move higher and target 18.90. Which is a 50% retracement of this move. On a one hour chart, 50% retracement of the one hour drop. So we have 1876 or 1875, somewhere in the middle, resistance that we need to get over. So you're looking for something along the lines of move up, break of resistance, a retest, full of structure, the continuation. Right, I'm going to leave it there as my analysis because where I live in Guatemala, we're going to have a power cut the entire day. So there's no point of me on a swing trade, there's a trade, not a swing trade, a day trade that I'm not going to be here. So now I can't manage the position. But that's what I'm anticipating, something along the lines of this. wrap up where we are at the moment, we've got this inverse head and shoulders. So break of the neckline, retest up. Have a nice day ahead.